Just wait until you see this color. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope that you're doing well today. I am super excited because this is something that I've been looking forward to sharing. I did share this on Instagram to my followers because I was taking my hiatus from YouTube, but since I'm coming back to YouTube once in a while, maybe a little bit sporadically, I wanted to make this video because this is just something that I am delighted to have and, and wanted to share. So getting to the point, the item that I have to share with you today is in this box. And as you might be able to tell from the packaging, this is a Chanel box. It is a little bit blocked by the ribbon, but here it is. It does say Chanel. This isn't a true unboxing as I think I said but I it came with all this stuff so I wanted to put it back and wrap it all on knife. I obviously didn't do the ribbon as pretty as they would do it in the boutique but I just it was I wanted to share it like in the full glory that it came to me in which was basically full set minus the receipt and like the, the shopping bag which I thought was really cool. It came with like a really fancy ribbon actually so I'm not sure if this was a holiday purchase. I don't think it could have been because this item didn't come out during holiday season. So I'm not sure why it had this particular ribbon, but ours is not to reason why. So let me just put the camellia down and take off the ribbon, my very poorly tied ribbon, which means that I feel a little bit less bad about untying it. Now, as you can tell, this is kind of a small box. You might have an idea as to what this item is if you have any experience with Chanel or have seen unboxings before. This is an item that is considered an SLG, not a bag, but which bag is it? Okay, without further ado, I will show you. So let me just take the box off, open the box up, and here it is. Okay, just wait till you get a load of this color. It, it, I. Okay, I'm not gonna stall any longer, but I'm not even gonna tell you to guess because how would you have any idea what it is? But here's the, the size and shape. Can you see? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So this is the Chanel 19S Iridescent Pink that came out in 2019 in the second spring summer collection. And this is a highly coveted, highly sought out color. It's generally like a favorite Chanel pink, like people who are into Chanel kind of have favorite colors from favorite seasons. And I think this is one of the favorite pinks that have ever come out. I, I like it, I think it ties or is up there with the series nine pink that came out in, you know, early 2000s. And it is so pretty. I don't know if the camera is gonna properly pick it up, but it is this iridescent, almost pearlescent sheen on top and is just so beautiful, so, so beautiful. I think it's greeting decent on video. It does have a cool tone as opposed to like a warm tone, which I really like. I prefer cooler toned pinks. And I'm not gonna keep babbling about the color because I think you get the point, but this is, what is this? So this is the square wallet on chain. So Chanel has two different kinds of wallet on chains or, well, two different shapes. They have the regular rectangular, which is the rev like shape, the wallet on chain, and they have different styles that come in the rectangulars. So they've got like the Chanel 19 wallet on chain, which is still in the rectangle shape. They've got the trendy wallet on chain, which is still in the rectangle shape. This is the square wallet on chain, which came out, I believe it was first introduced in 2017. Uh, it ran until 2020 or 2021 and then it was discontinued to my knowledge and so the only way you can get the wallet on chain in the square is on the pre-love market now and the chanel 19s iridescent pink came out in a variety of bags and slgs it came out in the jumbo and the medium i don't know if it came out in the small it might have actually i think it did it came out in the small the jumbo and the medium it came out in the rectangle wallet on chain the square wallet on chain and then a variety of slgs and another thing about the 19s collection is that it came out in two different hardwares it came out with the regular um, normal like champagne hardware and it also had some items slgs that came out with a mother of pearl hardware which is also highly collectible very sought after and very beautiful but the thing is the mother of pearl hardware is grained lambskin while the regular hardware is grained calfskin. So the mother of pearl hardware pieces are a little bit more delicate, a little bit lighter in terms of like feel and materials. And also they have a different undertone. They have like a warmer peachier pink undertone than the champagne gold hardware pieces, which have this cooler undertone. And I really like the cooler undertone. I've seen the mother of pearl wallet on chain come up several times on the pre 
pre-love market over the years. Like I remember it coming up on the pre-love market in like 2019. I even have it favorited on Fashion File from ages ago and I didn't go for it because I thought it was beautiful but it wasn't like the right color of pink, you know? I've never seen the Square Wallet on Chain pop up on the pre-love market. This was the very first time. I bought this on Fashion File. I think I said that. I don't remember. Did I? Hmm. I bought it on Fashion File and when this first popped up, this popped up along with a jumbo in the iridescent pink, a medium classic flap in the iridescent pink, and several SLGs. So I'm of the opinion that it's possible that a collector just let go of their entire collection and just put it all in fashion file because all those things happened at the same time. And I saw all of those items and I gotta say like the jumbo was very well priced for what it was. Like I remember a couple of years ago, the Chanel Jumbo going for, you know, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 on the pre-love market, even though it was a lot less retail at that point. Like when the Chanel Jumbo was like $6,000, it was going for almost $11,000 in the pre-love market. Whereas the Jumbo this time was selling for about 9,000 for again, this color, which I thought was really cool. This bag, I stared at it for a good week and a half. Like it didn't sell and I stared at it and it didn't sell and I stared at it. And finally I decided, you know what? I think I'll regret it if I don't go for it because if somebody else buys it and it sells, like I'll be, I'll be really sad. And if I get it and the pink isn't what I think it is in person, I can always return it. If it's not the, the style that I, I really like, I can always return it, but I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to take a chance on it. And I did and I got it and it was pretty much love at first sight. I talked it up. I, I was, I didn't shut up about it on Instagram. Like I have reels uh, of, of the unboxing. I have a what fits and this thing actually fits quite a bit. It fits way more than the regular wallet on chain. And I'd say that it probably fits as much as like the mini square or, or my mini reissue because the thing about this is that it has these gussets on the side. I didn't even show you the bag. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. Well, okay, so here's the beautiful strap and it has this like leather part on the top to like make it more comfortable to wear on the shoulder. The other nice thing about this bag is that the strap drop is a little bit shorter than the regular wallet on chain. The regular wallet on chain has a very long strap drop, which I don't mind so much because I'm 5'7", I'm a little bit taller, so it doesn't hang too low on me, but this hangs a little bit nicer. I, I like the, the drop length on this. And if you double up the chain or you cross over the chain to wear it on your shoulder, I think that's a really cute look. But so it has these two gussets on the side and no back pocket. The next, the second edition of wallet on chains, the ones that came out in like 2020, 2021 did have a Mona Lisa back pocket, but the versions that came out 2017 to 2019 did not. I don't mind that. So it's got this two compartments in the in the middle and the zipper compartment in the back. And you'll notice that it even still has the little cards. Like this was basically new. This came in basically new condition. It's got the cards in it still and there's even the plastic still on the hardware, which I just thought was wild. But yeah, so it's got the zipper pocket in the middle and then it's got these two compartments and the because the wallet on chain this is a little bit taller, you can stand up SLGs in it as opposed to laying them flat so more can fit. And you've got these two pockets and the expandable gusset so you can fill it a little bit fuller than the regular wallet on chain too. Even with a walk saver in the regular wallet on chain, this definitely fits a lot more. I, I was kind of blown away by how much it could fit. There's only a few videos on YouTube about the square wallet on chain so it was really hard to find information about it. And because it didn't come out for very long and it wasn't like a super popular bag. There isn't a lot of information about it in general. I was able to find some things on the purse forum from many years ago, but for the most part, it isn't really discussed. So I wasn't able to see much about it beside before I took the plunge and purchased it. But now that I did take the plunge, I'm very, very happy I did. This is such a cute little bag. I also love that it doesn't look like a wallet on chain, especially when it's full. It looks just like a mini bag, like kind of a differently shaped square. It looks like substantial, it looks like a bag, but it folds flat so you can use it for travel really easily and it does stay close to the body. So I think that it's just a really good versatile bag for its size and its shape. There was a medium classic flap that popped up a little bit after this did that was also for a really good price relative to what it was. And I looked at it for a while, but I already bought this bag. I'm like, you can't, you shouldn't buy two bags in the exact same color right now before you've worn this a little bit. And I ended up talking myself down and not getting the medium classic flap as well. If it's still available, I'll link them in the description box down below if you're interested in it, because like, look at this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy I went for this. It's so, so pretty. I just wanted to share this unboxing slash reveal with you because I was really excited to get it. I've talked about it nonstop on Instagram as I keep 
keep saying. If you're interested in following me, by the way, I am a little bit more active on Instagram right now than I am on YouTube. I, I'm going to be making videos on YouTube once in a while, but I post like outfits of the day, bags of the day, uh, reels on Instagram because I think it's a little bit easier and a little bit less intensive than making videos on YouTube. So if you want to see more of me, I would suggest like maybe going over there as well. If you're interested in the square wallet on chain, again, it can only be found on the pre-love market now, but I found a few for you that I'll put in the description box. I'll put some links. And if you want some more information about the bag, like you want a more in-depth what fits, you want a comparison maybe to the rectangular wallet on chain, I'm happy to do that because I do have both now. And if you're interested in things like more styling or mod shots, then again, I would suggest Instagram. So that's my video for today. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content because it helps the algorithm even more. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.